Well, bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Welcome. Welcome. God bless you all. Excited to bring the word of the Lord to you today. Um, I have been praying about which direction to go and, uh, you know, what to study, what focus to study uh, for our morning lives. And I feel impressed by the Lord to start with uh, the Gospel of Mark, to dive into the Gospel of Mark. So uh, we are actually going to, we're going to start that today, just um, just a quick introduction to the Gospel of Mark. And every day, we're going to just going to dig deeper in that Gospel. So I'm encouraging you to make this morning time, this, uh, you know, depending on when you watch, of course, depending on where you're at, but this, this, uh, this time together, as a time where you can really just sink into the gospel of Mark. We've done this with other books. We've done this with other topics in the past. So um, I feel led by the Lord to just, um, you know, to go in depth in a certain topic. So we're going to go through the book, the gospel of Mark. And uh, today we'll, we'll just be an introduction and we'll just kind of get it set up. And, uh, but it, but it's going to be powerful. So I encourage you to, when you join in, have your Bible, have your notebooks and uh, be ready to really just really study this gospel and to take our time and to just really um, absorb everything that is in it so that it becomes part of who you are. And it, it becomes of it becomes part of how you think and how you live, how you live this out, because it's something that you have thoroughly saturated yourself in. So I'm excited about this new journey um, in this gospel of Mark. And I believe it's going to be a blessing and it's going to be very beneficial to all of you. Amen. Good day to all of you. God bless you. Thank you for joining in. Praise the Lord. I pray you had a wonderful weekend. If you're watching live, this is Monday morning. Um, but God bless you. Yes, Valencia, God bless you. Deborah, Teresa, Mary, God bless you. Margie, God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Um, if uh, you, you see that I have firedupconference.com, fired so Edna, God bless you. God bless you. If you haven't joined or signed up yet for our conference, we are getting so close. Um, good morning, Joyce. If you haven't signed up yet for Fired Up Conference, um, for Fired Up, the website is firedupconference.com. But if you haven't signed up for Fired Up yet, then I'm encouraging you to do so. Also spread the word out, invite your friends. We are going to have an incredible, incredible night. Um, just the spirit of the living God just really impacting those that are there. I am super excited for what God is doing and going to do on that evening. But in preparation for that night, people that are coming, the groups that are coming, it is is just going to be a powerful night. There's going to be so much healing. I mean, like healing in every way, like physical, emotional, spiritual, every type of healing. Um, we, we've got various groups coming that are like from different um, organizations, uh, helping people off the street, helping, helping women and children. We, we've got a lot of different people coming that are going to so need to hear. We, we, we have, um, of course, just, um, we've got you know the body of christ in various different aspects but it's going to be powerful and you're going to witness just so many life-changing encounters for yourself and for others and you know there's nothing more beautiful than to see a life that is so transformed and so um delivered because of the power the presence of god so spread the news let people know um invite your friends and um and be ready be ready be ready be ready Amen. So good morning, Lisa. God bless you. God bless you. As, as we begin here, like I said, this is going to be a short introduction, but I also want you to put in your prayer requests and also praises. Always make sure praises, praises, because we want to give praise to our Lord. We always want to make sure we give him thanks, right? Amen. Amen. So we're going to start the, in the gospel of Mark. First of all, the gospel of Mark is the shortest gospel. It's the shortest gospel. It's only 16 chapters, you know, only 16 chapters. And really Mark is out of all the gospel writers, Mark focuses on a lot of the healing and the deliverance that happens and that has happened um, that Jesus modeled 
you know, for us to walk in. So if you, if you really want to know, like, you know, a quick gospel that you can just read that is going to just be boom, 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 boom. You know, the healings, the deliverance, the setting of captives free. Well, Mark is the gospel to really sink your teeth in and really devour and really learn because this gospel is just packed with various healing and deliverances. So, and I'm going to also encourage you that as we go through this gospel, that you get various markers, get different colored pens. And um, in certain parts, like when we read a section that has to do with deliverance, you would put a small D right next to that section, the beginning of that section for deliverance, if it's a section on deliverance. If it's a section on healing, that you would put an, a, a, an H, you know, next to it. That's what I've done um, over the years as, I, as I've studied, um, because it's a quick, easy reference as you open up your Bible and you want to go and find that healing, or you want to find that deliverance. And, you know, I teach on healing and deliverance a lot and, you know, operate in healing and deliverance a lot. So that's actually a, a valuable tool for me to have my Bible referenced in that way. So not only do I do that, but I, you know, ideally what you want to do is you know stick with the same color. So if you have, you know, deliverance, if you put deliverance in blue, you put healing in green or whatever it is, but you just come up with a system, right? I know it doesn't always work because sometimes you, but, but at least have the letter, right? So that has helped a lot just in being able to put the reference and many times it's healing and deliverance. So you just put both, both of it there, healing and deliverance. Barbara, I see your, your prayer need lots of neck pain and sore throat. And we're going to pray. We're going to pray here in a moment. So like I said, this is going to be a short introduction. I just want you to make sure that you come with your Bible and your notebook and be ready. So Mark, the shortest gospel, 16 chapters, really dealing a lot with healing and deliverance. Um, yes, an H and, and, and a D. Yeah, exactly, Kelly. And and that's just really helpful. And if you can come with the color, uh, you know, pattern, that's even, even, even better. But the gospel. So first of all, in verse one, it says the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the son of God, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the son of God. We know the word gospel means the good news. So this is the beginning of the good news. This is the author, Mark, is writing. He says, this is the beginning, he says, of the good news. The good news. The gospel is the good news. The Bible is the good news. The word of God is the good news, right? And so it's the good news of Christ. So Christ, you know, Jesus Christ. Christ is not the last name. It's Christ. The word Christ actually means Christos. Christos, which means the anointed one. So you know, sometimes you think knowing these important Bible truths are very, very important to, to a believer. Because if you were to be asked, well, what does Christ mean? And you wouldn't know, well, it's not his last name. You know, you know the word Christ, it means Christos, right? And that word Christos is the anointed one. The anointed one. Yes, Teresa, I see your prayer need. We're going to pray. So the anointed one. So he says... Uh, the, the author of Mark says the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus, Yeshua, he shall save. Yahweh, which means salvation. Yahweh meaning salvation. Jesus meaning Yeshua, he shall save the son of God. So here, Mark, in just the very first verse, he's saying, he's saying I'm going to, write to you, teach you of the beginning of the good news, the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, the anointed one, Yeshua, he shall save. Salvation is Yahweh, right? The son of God. So right here, he is saying Jesus, the son of God, right in Mark 1, 1. And I want to read to you a note here about, about Christ and, and the meaning of Christ. So Christ, Christos, is the anointed one. The word comes from the word hero to anoint, to referring to the um, the rights of a priest or a king. So Christos is translated, you know, the, the Hebrew Messiah. So, you know, sometimes in translation, we lose some of the meaning, but but it's important for us to, to look at this, right? So the anointed one, Christos, in every instance, the anointed one or the Messiah, okay, denoting a title, Jesus Christ. It actually means Jesus, the Messiah, or Christ, the anointed one. So it's, I think that it, it helps because repeti repetition is the mother of learning. It helps when you read this 
together and you say, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, or Jesus, the anointed one, you're literally emphasizing the fact that the man, Jesus, was God's anointed one, the promised Messiah. Now, I said a mouthful there. And and that's what I'm saying. I said a mouthful there, but we're not going to just rush on. We're going to make sure we get this. We're going to make sure we get this. So, you know, even in your own journal, in your own writing, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, or Jesus, the anointed one. Jesus, the anointed one of God, the promised Messiah. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So powerful. So powerful. And, um, so, and I see a, I see a question here, Deborah, some YouTube, not familiar with Laguna Hills. Can anyone recommend a hotel in, in that area? My sister's coming in from Arizona. They won't come unless they have a hotel in that area. Prayer and need a situation. Okay, wonderful. I'm glad your sister's coming in from Arizona. Actually, the hills, where we're having the venue is a hotel. So uh, the hill, it's called The Hills Hotel. So if you see on the, uh, the flyer that you've seen circulated, it says The Hills Hotel. So we're actually having it at a venue where they have, you know, hotels. Um, I mean, where they have rooms because it is a hotel. So I would contact the Hills Hotel and find out about their room rates because she can easily stay right there. But, um, uh, you know, Deborah, you can also contact me uh, by just going to my website and submitting a question. And we, you know, I can help you with finding other um, hotels in that area. But the Hills Hotel is a hotel and she can just as easily stay there and it'd be very convenient. So we'll be praying that your sisters will be able to come in from Arizona. That is awesome. But Christos, Christ, the anointed one of God, the promised Messiah. So think about that. Like you just, instead of saying Jesus Christ, right? You know, we have defined the word Christ. We have defined the word Jesus. And to put it together, Jesus Christ, the anointed one of God, the promised Messiah, you know, uh, who saves us from our sins. Because remember, I said Jesus means Yeshua, he shall save. Well, and he saves us from our sins. So he shall save Yahweh, salvation. These are all different definitions, right, of how to define Jesus and Christ. So we put it together and, and somebody can even, maybe Mary, if you wouldn't mind writing it, you wrote down Christos, Christ, the anointed one of God, the promised Messiah, so that everyone can see it just written out and you literally just copy it down in your journal. Like I'm actually challenging you just write it out in your journal, as well as Jesus, Yeshua, Yahweh is salvation because he's salvation. You know, yes, he shall save. We put it all together. He shall save people from their sins. Yahweh is salvation. Jesus, Yeshua, he shall save. He shall save people from their sins. Yahweh is salvation. Glory to God. Like pause and just dwell on that. Sometimes in studying the Bible or, or reading the Bible even, you know, you, you just, you blast through it. You blast through it. And then you don't really retain the depths of what you need to retain. So, and, we, and we're not going to do that with this study. We're, we're going to take our time. Like I said, we're going to take our time and we're going to make sure that we are literally absorbing. We're going to absorb. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I have a note here that I want to read to you about, God, about the word gospel. Um, you can compare it. So let's see, evangel, evangelion. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but um, that's the that's the the Strong's numbers 2098. And so it, you can compare it. You you hear the word you know, evangelist or even, to evangelize in that. So um, to evangelize, evangelistic. Um, so in ancient Greek, evangelion um, designated the reward given for bringing good news. Later it became, it became to mean the good news itself. But you can see the word evangelize in the root word of the gospel, of the word gospel. So 
in the New Testament, the word includes both the promise of salvation and its fulfillment of life, death, and resurrection by the ascension of Jesus Christ. So, so like evangelism also designates the written narratives of, of all the gospels, right? Because that's the word, the root word for the word gospel. Amen. Amen. So Jesus, Yeshua, he shall save Yahweh, his salvation. Important that we literally, and I'm going to write these down. I, I'm going to write these down. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to write these down and, and we are going to be very, very repetitive on purpose, on purpose. This is my last year. Um, so that we can really learn and study this and just retain this to be so so important that we do this amen amen um okay that's great deborah she says she's going to look into this after this word here yeah praise god yeah look into the hills hotel um and then also contact me if you need further help in other areas other hotels in the area so but i think that the hills hotel is probably that so now i'm going to take a pause there right there because mark 1 1 is what we really started to dive into thank you mary jesus yes yeshua um he shall save yeah and salvation yeah and and um and also yeshua and then yahweh is salvation yahweh is salvation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to even start writing some of these down and bringing them to you. So like I'll be posting them in the comments, you know, uh, because I really believe that we're going to, we're going to all, I, I really, I felt that strong, strong, the importance of just really pressing into studying this gospel. So thank you, Father. We're going to stop right there. We're going to pause right there and we're going to pray. And we're going to pray for those that are going to join us in this study. We're going to pray for those that and the things that you have already asked for prayer for, the ones that have already asked. But we're going to pause because I'm not going to make these studies long, but they're going to, they're going to be short. And they're going to be, they're going to be right to the point. Amen. So I pray that you're encouraged and I pray that you're excited to jump into this study, the, the gospel of Mark. Thank you, Father. So, Lord, I, I thank you for each and every one of them that are online today, those that are watching the replay as well. And, Lord, I lift up Teresa right now, and I lift up Brenda, or Barbara. Barbara, in the name of Jesus, we, both of them have asked for prayer, neck pain for Barbara, sore throat, and Teresa just excruciating pain throughout her whole body. So right now, Father God, we lift them up specifically, but I pray for all those that are online that are needing prayer, prayer for their bodies, physical uh, healing, needing physical healing. In the name of Jesus, right now, we take authority over all demonic assignments, all pain, all, all assignments in the, of the enemy. We just cancel right now the works of darkness. Father, we just rebuke the devil right now in the name of Jesus. We decree over, over these uh, women right now, praying. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord God, you said Praise the Lord, Psalm 103, verses 2 and 3. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits, who forgives you of all your sins and heals you of all your diseases. Lord God, I thank you that your word says you forgive us of our sins, but you also say you heal us of all of our diseases. In Psalm 103, we stand on the authority of your word that you you heal us. You heal us. Any disease right now, we speak to any disease, anything that's in your system that the enemy is trying to bring in a form of a disease, I rebuke right now and cast out in Jesus' name. I thank you. You sent forth your word and you healed them. Psalm 107, 20, you sent forth your word. Even today, your word was sent forth. We just, we spoke of your word. We're speaking your word. We're praying your word. You sent forth your word. Jesus, you are the word made flesh. You are the living word that was made flesh. You sent forth your word and you healed them. Your word is present. Your word is alive. Jesus, you are the word. The spirit of the living God lives on the inside of us. So I speak healing over you right now, Barbara. I speak healing over you, Teresa. Margie, for your neck also. I speak healing over you right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, uh, Marie. Thank you, Father. Yes, I just, I include you, Marie, as well. Cynthia. Yes, thank you, Father. Okay, prayers, direction, yeah, discernment. Thank you, Lord. Your word gives us that discernment, the wisdom, the direction, Father, the healing, the uh, the understanding, the enlightenment that you align, that we align ourselves with the word, and then you literally bring in the, the 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 light of Christ, which literally enlightens our understanding. 
So, Father, we lift them up right now. We lift up your cousin, Janet. Yes, in the name of Jesus, Karen. We command cancer to be eradicated, pain to be eradicated. Yes, Father, we speak to sore throats right now. We command sore throats right now. We just rebuke it right now. All nerve, the nervous system right now. We speak to your nervous system. I take authority right now over the nervous system and pain that's just excruciating throughout your body. In the name of Jesus, and we command it to stop. We rebuke the devourer in the name of Jesus. We speak over your uh, your gums right now, Cynthia. I see your, your prayer need right now. Okay. Healing for your gums went to the dentist. They put in a, a template, but it fell out. So, Father, I thank you for your hand upon Cynthia right now and her gums, gum health. Healing to the gums and the gum health right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord God. Oh, we love your word. Proverbs 4, 20, starting at 20. My son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to a man's whole body. That's Proverbs 4, starting in 20. They are the words of God are life and they are health to your whole body. We speak over your whole body body right now your mind your will your emotions and your body we speak the word of god which is life life abundantly father your word says in matthew 8 17 you took up our infirmities and you carried our diseases you carried them if you carried them we don't need to carry them if you took them we shouldn't take them back so we right now command infirmities and diseases to leave you. I command infirmities and diseases to leave you right now. Your neck and your vertebrae and your discs. Joyce, I see you need healing in your neck, vertebrae, and discs. Yes, Father. Every disc, right? All Every disc that throughout your spine right now, I speak to the discs in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Praise God. I command neck, the necks for anybody because it may not be more than one, but I speak to necks, I speak to the vertebrae, I speak to the every disc in the vertebrae, but I command healing right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Cynthia is saying already, she's feeling, Cynthia, Cynthia is already saying, giving her, her praise. She's already feeling the Holy Spirit. She says, I'm already feeling the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Yes, Brenda, for your son, um, help. He needs to eat. Yeah, Lord, I thank you. We give you the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord God. Yes, Lord, we decree healing over them in the name of Jesus. I cast out every spirit of infirmity right now. I cast out every spirit of affliction right now. See, sometimes spirit, they're spirits, right? They're, they're the, the, um, and it's a spirit of affliction. And it's a spirit of infirmity. So we cast out that spirit of affliction. We cast out that spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want you to start testing your body. I want you to start moving around, testing and Let us know what else is going on. Yes, all self-doubt, learning disabilities, leaving your mind. Nina, right now, she's watching YouTube. Yep, leaving right now. Doubt, we just command doubt to go. We just we just take doubt right now and we say, out of here in the name of Jesus. Yep, out of here in the name of Jesus. We, our confidence is not in ourselves, but it is in Christ Almighty. It is Jesus Christ. It is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He, he's our confidence. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father, for providing for Cynthia, Lord, fully, completely, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Yes. Who else? Okay, I want you to go ahead and put your, your praise reports. Tell me what the Lord is doing. What is he doing right now? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Praise you, Father. And Lord, as they are doing that, I also pray for our children. We lift up our children and our children's children. And we decree right now, Lord God, that all of our children will be taught, Lord, and great shall be their peace, according to Isaiah 54, 13. According to the word in Isaiah 54, 13, all of our children, all of them, yes, you name them, yes, you can name them absolutely all of our children will be taught of the lord and great shall be their peace isaiah 54 13 isaiah 54 13 thank you father thank you lord praise you jesus we go to isaiah 54 13 quickly because uh, thank you father okay One more. isaiah 54 13 you know 
you know, all of our children will reach our Lord and great should be their peace. Great, great should be the peace of your children. So powerful in the scripture in Isaiah 54, 13, um, verse 17 is, you know, one of our favorite verses, same chapter, but verse 17, no weapon formed against you is going to prosper, right? And every tongue that rises up against you, judgment, uh, we shall condemn, right? And so I speak that over you today, that Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against you. We're praying for your health. We're praying for your healing. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. We're praying for our children. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. None. Every tongue that rises up against them in judgment, we condemn it. We condemn it right now. Because we cast that down. We cancel it and we cast it down in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Cynthia is feeling the peace, blanket of peace. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. You know, when God, the heat manifests so much of the time as the as the the peace and the presence of God starts to you know settle settle in. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. All right, beautiful people of the Lord. Um, remember, I read a conference. So glad that I mentioned it. We've got Deborah, um, Deborah Rees, her sisters that are wanting to come from Arizona, and uh, you're going to check out the hotels. So Lisa Hills Hotel. Um, so let me get a hold of me, and we can talk, you know, offline. And I can help you find other places if needed. All right, God bless you all. Um, have an amazing day. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Blessings.